good morning this video is made and uh, by the students of <coughs> by the students of the lab sessions of strength of materials in order to uh, in order to repeat the the model uh, already done in the first session okay uh, when you open our sky don't uh, don't forget to select the set word directory which will be the, the folder where the the abacus files will be saved so if you forget to select a select uh, a, a word directory your abacus files your results must uh, will be saved in this folder okay in the, the temporal folder okay i i told you that because um, maybe some students ask me hey, okay i can't find the the model i submit yesterday okay <laughs> um, look for it at at the temp folder uh, and it is so i'm going to select the folder related to this class strength of material in this session one our course okay and then you have to save your model and uh, the first tips to start i prefer to, to put a white background i think the pictures are uh, more beautiful with a white background than this gradient background so it's solid white okay okay i repeat you graphic option solid white okay. the second tip is for manipulations tool options view manipulation you can choose solidworks manipulation in order to rotate only pushing the scroll wheel of the mouse the scroll wheel of the mouse instead of pushing like this rotating and then click again in order to uh, get all, uh, not to rotate anymore so since the um, as, I, as we seen in the as we saw in the first session the the bridge can be created only with one part so we um, we can only create one one part instead of several parts and then assembly later so the part which uh, will be the bridge i'm going to call it bridge selecting two dimensions the formable wire and approximate size of 200 is fine okay i want to remember which is the model the model is a bridge a bridge like like this for example which can be uh, can be joined to different uh, side walls to different side walls which has a distance a horizontal distance of 50 meters and a vertical distance of 30 meters in the left side wall and a depth of uh, 35 meters in the right side wall to do that we can uh, we are going to do a main beam bar a main beam which may accomplish which may respect this geometrical condition of maximum height depth maximum height maximum width and maximum and minimum minimum thickness okay there is an example and we we are going to see later and uh, if we can if we want to do it two concrete columns or three concrete columns or one concrete columns but always made of concrete okay vertical columns made of concrete like that okay vertical columns made of concrete obligatory and it's mandatory as well that a uh, geometrical parameters okay and a square section area one meter per one meter regarding the main beam you can choose a uh, the section that you want that you want to the cross section that you want to is not obligatory to do a y section an i section sorry like that okay you can choose what whichever you want and the truss structure which is uh, obligatory to be truss bars so it is automatically circle sectioned and we can choose uh, the section area what you want in order to optimize the uh, the bridge 
in order to wait as less as possible. But these are the two uh, integrity conditions that may be respect that may be respected. The yield stress of each material we choose to create the breeds must be higher than the maximum emission stress multiplied by a security factor, and the vertical displacement must be less than nine centimeters. Okay, only to remember. Those are the material we are going to use, the concrete for the vertical columns, and the steel, what you want to the rest of the structure, what you want, even combine it, okay? Even combine it. So, let's start with the bridge, okay? With this button, okay, we are going to create the different coordinates, different uh, bars, and the specific coordinates, you, you have them in the guide, to create the bits. So the first coordinate will be the 0, 0, and the second, um, regarding the main beam, will be 50. Okay, I'm writing it. I'm writing them in this square box, 50,5. Okay, I'm going to create the vertical columns. Okay, if we click the right button of mouse, we can select cancel. Create lines, okay. The first coordinate will be 10.1, that coincides with the main beam, and the second will be 10.30. Okay, right click, cancel the circle, and the second concrete column will be located in that point, which is 14,4. We can write the coordinate here or select automatically here and here. Okay, right button as a procedure, and then the upper structure made, made of truss bars. The first coordinate will be 25,17.5. Okay, which is located. 50 meters above, uh, 15, sorry, 15 meters above the main beam because 75 meters are uh, from the uh, x axis. Then I'm going to join the bars to create the upper structure. Okay, the last one is totally vertical from the upper body to the main beam. Okay, that's all. If we click done, the bridge is uh, created. Then let's move to the property modeling, which we are going to create two different material. Okay, in the example, we are going to make the truss bars are the main beam of steel one. We are only using the steel one, but you can use which steel you want, even combining them. Okay, remember. We are going to create three different sections, one truss section for the truss bars and two beam section. One beam section with a, an I section related to the main beam, an I cross section area, uh, section, and then a squared section uh, vertical columns related to the columns made of concrete. Um, let's start. Material, concrete. You have the properties, the material properties in the guide, but here they are, okay, a density of uh, 700 and uh, 7,800, okay, the units are in meters as the distance, in kilograms, so we don't have to make a change. But in the young modulus, we check we have year pascals, okay, and we are operating in pascals. So 210 must be written like 200. No, sorry, 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 because um, I was uh, I was writing the steel properties and we have to write the concrete properties. So in the density, we have to change that that number per that number. We have to write 2,300. And in the GAM modulus, 27 gigapascal that must be written like 27 E9. And the position ratio, 0 
Okay, that's all. Okay, to finish. Second material, still one. Density now poison radio 0 0.3. 0 0.3, okay? You have the, the different material properties in the guide. The yield stress must be only seen in order to check if the model uh, respects the integrity, okay? Not to create the materials. Then I'm going to create section. I'm going to start with the, the columns. Here in beam section, beam columns. Okay, continue. We are going to choose a profile that must be created here in this button. Create beam profile. Remember that the beam profile is mandatory to be a squared section, one meter per one meter. So click on this button. The profile is uh, that will be selected is rectangular, not box. Okay, box is a is like a, a rectangular tube. Okay, so cancel. I'm going to call it square rectangular. Continue one per one. Okay, and the material is complete. Okay, second section, main beam. Beam beam continue. A material in this case is stale and the profile is not squared. We are going to create another B profile. Remember, uh, creating this section, you can do, you can do, the, or you can use, okay, the beam profile you want to, okay, the beam profile that you want to. You are not obligated to choose an eye uh, shape as I'm going to use. Because this is only an example, okay? That this is not obligatory. You can use an hexagonal, rectangular, T sectional, L sectional, what you want. Okay, I'm going to create a double T section. So double T. Continue. Okay. This is the center of inertia, in which the center of inertia must be calculated as the center of gravity. Okay, as we have seen in the first session. Okay, as the center of gravity, remember. But as my as my section has a, a 0.6 meter of height and is symmetric, the center of gravity is 0.3. Okay, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And I'm going to remember the geometrical restrictions. The geometrical restrictions are the following one. The height must be less or equal than 1.1 meters so it's correct the width the both width in this case must be less or equal than 0.9 meters so they are correct and the thicknesses must be equal or more more than 10 millimeters 10 millimeters in my case the three thicknesses values 50 millimeters so they are correct as well Okay, the thickness is as minimum 10 millimeters. The other ones is are maximum. The height and the width is as maximum, but the thickness is as minimum. Okay. So okay, and the third related to the truss bars, the truss structure, which can be created upper the main beam or lower the main beam or below the main beam. Okay, above the main beam or below the main beam. Okay, but remember that one of the design restrictions as we have uh, seen in the first session, is that only one bar, apart from the main beam and the other one, but only one bar can be joined, okay, below the main beam in the side walls. One on the left and one on the right, only one. That's because this bar must be removed, okay? Only one bar below the main beam must be joined in the side wall, in the left and in the right. Another design restriction is that in the upper part of the side walls, only two different bars can be joined to, the, to, this, um, to this part. In this case, there are two bars, one the main beam and one um, another truss uh, bar uh, that regards the, to the truss structure. But on the left, we have three different bars. So one of them uh, must be removed 
this one or this one, okay? Uh, the last uh, design restriction is that if you create a, a concrete column and a, a trash structure below the main beam as well, you uh, have to connect the steel bar to the concrete, not directly with another trash structure without connecting without connecting it to the to the concrete. Okay. That's not a ghost, okay? The column is not a ghost, the column is uh, solid. You, con you have to connect this bar with the concrete column. So in the truss section, instead of beam, we are going to select truss section, truss section. Continue, select steel and the cross-sectional area. Remember that the cross-section is automatically circled section, okay, because it's a truss bar. We are only modifying the cross-sectional area. And that is another important point to optimize the weight of the beam, of the bridge, okay? The weight of the bridge, because you can create as many sections as you want to. If you uh, want, assign, want to assign one section per bar in order to optimize the bridge as best as possible, you can do it, okay? If in your results, this bar, can support more weight, but this not, you can do this bar, or you can change this bar in order to be thinner, okay, and this bar in order to be thicker, if you want to, okay? It's not mandatory that all the truss bars have the same cross-sectional area. It's not mandatory, okay? You can play with it. So, once we have created the three section, we are going to assign them to the different parts. So we click on assign section and we select, for example, the two columns. In done, we are going to select the section called columns. Okay. Now in the beam part of the bar, the beam part, uh, no, the beam part of the of the steel structure, main beam. We are going to click in done. Okay. To do that. To do that, important, to do that, I'm going to keep pressed the shift button, okay? In order to select whatever I want to without me select the previous elements, okay? So assign section, done, and then main beam, okay. And finally, thrust structure, okay. Finally, we have to assign a beam direction, this part and this part. Why? Because we uh, have to say or have to tell Abacus uh, in which direction we want the main beam to look forward, okay, especially to the double T section. So click on this button, we can assign the beam orientation which is automatically correct. So we press enter twice, and then in order to check in which direction our beam bars are looking forward, we can press view, part display options, render beam profiles, okay. And, oh, here, here, um, I can see how I, make something wrong. Why? Because creating that section, I select the, pro the square profile. I created the double T profile, but then I select the square profile to this section. So here, in section manager, main beam, edit, here in profile name, I must select the double T. Okay, and then we can see how the main beam has changed their section in order to be right, uh, right, uh, so uh, we can quit this uh, view of the render view profile, again, same option, because I prefer to work like this, and then I'm going to move to assembly model, and as I only have one part, that's very easy, create instance, and okay, step part, create step, and everything by default, okay, 
But mm. then let's move to the load module. In the load module, we are going to create a line load of uh, 150,000 liter per meter and the boundary conditions. The boundary conditions are the following one. We have to cast the concrete columns to the ground and we have to pin the uh, elements that are connected to the side walls. Okay, every element that are connected to the side walls must be pinned. Okay, in my case, I only have one point and another point on the right joined to the side walls. But if you create, if you create a structure, a truss structure below below the main beam, you are going to connect one another bar to the left side wall and another bar to the right side wall and these two bars must be pinned as well okay let's start with the pin in order for you to check pin mechanical symmetry in this button okay i forget continue we are going to select all the points connected to the side walls in my case only two and then selecting pin it the other boundary condition, this button as well, is the cast of the concrete columns on the ground. Continue here and here, pressing the shift button, okay, in order to select this one and this one as well. And cast it, okay. And then the line load. The line load is in the first icon, line load, mechanical line load, continue. And we are going to select the main beam in which the train is going to pass above, pass over. Component one is the horizontal one, so it's zero. Component two is the vertical one, which values minus 150,000. Minus, okay, because um, the, the line load is looking forward the ground. Okay, so y is negative in this direction. The y axis. Okay. If you have the lines pointing to the to the sky, maybe you forgot to write the minus. Okay. Then we are going to to end. We are going to finish the the model. Doing the mess. The mess. The mess. Okay. The first one is select. The first thing is select the element type. The element type is different for truss bars and for beam bars. Okay, so we have to be careful with that because the beam type, the beam element type, is selected automatically. So we are going to start clicking on this button, select the beam parts of the bridge, done, standard beam, okay, and then truss structure done and we can change from beam to truss okay important if you don't do it abacus don't let you submit model okay then we are going to select the number of elements it's mandatory only one element per bar in the truss structure truss bars only will have one element only need one element okay because only support one type of load, which is axial load. Uh, we don't need more elements than one. So clicking on this button, select the truss structures, done by number one, okay. And the rest of the structure, we are going to try that um, the number of total elements will finish close to 1,000 elements because our students only support 1,000 nodes, only let us to model 1,000 nodes, and we are going to be as close as possible. Okay, as close as possible. Here, in the button, we have clicked to select this uh, number of elements. Select the number of elements for each part, each part of the bridge. So. This is one part of the bridge. If we select 1,000 or 100 elements, there will be 100 elements only in this part. So we have six parts to be messed. Six parts. That is the reason why I'm going to select 150 elements because 
this number okay is per part per part 150 elements per part so there will be in total 900 elements close to 1000 okay so be careful be very careful because you will have another different structures even or below the main beam or uh, above the main beam i don't know but your main beam will be divided in more than four i'm pretty sure be careful in, the, in which in, you have to uh, count the parts in which you have divided the main beam and then to calculate how many elements there uh, should be per part in order to be close than 1000 okay you have to you have to have more than 800 and less than 1000 more than 800 is valid but as close as possible to 1000 please we have to finish meshing the part here this part yes okay so the model is completed we are going to save we move to job model here create job model example I think in less than one minute the model will be submitted, will be completed. And we can check the results. Remember, the result that might be uh, accomplished. Okay, the yield stress must be higher than the momentous stress multiplied by 1.3, which is the security factor, and the maximum vertical displacement. Vertical displacement must be less than 9 centimeters. Okay? If you have respect the design conditions, the geometrical conditions, and you respect as well the integrity conditions, your model is valid to be presented. Once you do that, you have to optimize your model in order to weight as less as possible. Okay? Because the minimum weight will be a 10 in a mark related to the weight part and the maximum weight will be a 5 between 10 and 5 there will be a, a linear regression a linear regression calculus okay so if the minimum weight is 5 tons and your weight is 5.001 tons you will have a 9.9 .9 or something like that Okay, remember that the weight of the bridge structure values a 5% uh, of the whole subject and the final report a 10%. Okay, because the large laboratory counts 15% of the total mark of the subject. So, once the model is completed, results here, and we can see the mission stress, but for the whole model. Since we have different materials with different yield stress we have to check the material individually okay so here in the create display group button in the material assignment option we can check every material okay individually concrete and if we click on replace we only have the concrete parts of the of the bridge so the, the maximum of the stress is 4.9 megapascals okay remember that the units are newton meters kilograms and pascals if we have 4.9 elevated to 6 we have 4.9 megapascals so 4.9 multiplied multiplied per 1.3 are far less than the yield stress of the concrete so the model is valid now with the steel okay it's close to 150 megapascals megapascals 150 megapascals 150 megapascals multiplied by 1.3 are far less than 400 so the model is totally valid now we are going to click on this button which is to replace all and then if we select the U, which represents the displacement, 
U2, we can see the vertical displacement. The maximum is 2.9 centimeters, 2.9 centimeters, which is far less than 9 centimeters. So the model is totally valid. How many kilograms it weighs? Here, in the query information, we can check the mass properties. We can check how our model weighs 228 tons. Since the units are in kilograms, it's 2.28 elevated to 5 kilograms, so it's 228 tons. That is too much. As we can see, the conditions are far uh, less to the uh, limit. So we can optimize our model a lot. How doing that um, with other geometrical conditions, the main beam, I think, the main beam and the truss structure as well. We can change, firstly, the design. When we, when we find the best design, we are going to optimize the main beam in order to respect this condition, obviously, but in order to uh, make the main beam the main beam as light as possible. And with the thrust structures, as I said, we can optimize bar per bar. We can create uh, 5, 10, 20, 30 different sections and apply one section per bar in order to optimize as as as, uh, as best as possible so that's all guys good luck with your own model